Welcome to Faith in Five, a weekly video devotional designed to discuss practical spiritual concepts in five minutes or less. I'm your host, Mark Vandella. Did you know that there's a support program called Surviving the Holidays? Most churches run it because this time of year can be really difficult. And I've been thinking about that lately because I've had several conversations in the last week that have brought up some uh, just reminders of sometimes in my own life when holidays weren't what I thought they were going to be. Or I was talking to a friend who was really struggling and he said, for the rest of my life, I'm going to be thinking about every time this holiday comes, what I'm going through right now. just want to pause there and admit that a number of us are there. A number of us have been there and you're not alone and you don't have to be alone. We're in our series called Eat, Drink, and Be Thankful. And today we're going to talk about what do we do when we aren't feeling very thankful. When around the holiday times we're reminded of the loss of a loved one. Uh, the, these holidays are always kind of pinpoints or markers on a calendar that remind us of something that's happened to us or something that we're going through that's difficult. What do we do? How do we engage our faith when our circumstances aren't very thankworthy? Well, God, thankfully, has something to say about that. Again, you're not alone, and you don't have to do this alone. In fact, Jesus, when he is facing the end of his life, it's before he gets arrested, but he's, he's at the festival, they're celebrating together, and people around him, the, the religious leaders are questioning everything that comes out of his mouth. And he knows what's coming, and he still says, in that moment, he says in John seven thirty seven, if anyone thirsts, let them come to me and drink. He says that rivers of living water will brim and spill out of the depths of anyone who believes in me in that way. When we are in a spot that things aren't going the way we would like them to, again, when our circumstances are not very thankworthy, oftentimes we have that little voice in our head. If you're anything like me, there's that constant voice that says, oh yeah, so, so this isn't very fun. This is painful. Where's your God in all of this? And if it's difficult, if it's painful, then maybe he's left. Or maybe you, sh you did something wrong and you shouldn't be going through this. And there's all those little things that creep in and cause doubt. And Jesus is saying, if you're in that spot, don't run away. Run towards, come towards me. If you're in that spot, if you're thirsty, if you're longing for something, come, take a drink, lean into me. I want you to think about the places that either in your life or potentially the people around you, just be more aware of the fact that from Thanksgiving through the new year, there's just holiday after holiday. There's celebration after celebration and people after people. Either you're hurting and not looking forward to those or there's somebody around you who might be. And I'm not giving you this verse or talking about this verse because it's all of a sudden going to magically remove all of the pain or the difficulty that we're feeling. But it is a reminder to all of us that we are not alone when we feel alone, even when we're surrounded by people, we don't have to be alone. Jesus says, come to me. He says the living water, this Holy Spirit peace. When you're in one of those difficult conversations around the dinner table with family, or you have to go hang out with your one part of the family who doesn't like you, doesn't agree with your life choices, or you can't see eye to eye, Jesus says, don't do it alone. And don't run from your faith. In fact, engage your faith. Engage those people by carrying that with you and bring your faith with you. Pray. Talk to me. Talk to God through that living water that Jesus talks about. Use these conversations. When you have those voices that those, those people 
or the pain around you is causing you to wonder what is going on and where are you in all of this. God is there. God wants to be there. Jesus says so. So this week, as you engage your faith, as you survive the holidays, I just want you to feel encouraged. God wants to be in your life. He wants you to invite him into those conversations and those difficult places. Don't do it alone. If you're thirsty, call on Jesus and take a drink.